Hey guys, welcome back to the Forge Building Vlog, and I've got a couple hours this afternoon to work on this, so I think the next thing we're going to do, uh, also, first of all, thanks so much for all the great input and all the super advice you guys have been giving me. Really appreciate it. We're going to do a circular chamber, so I'm going to do two inches of KO wool on the inside of this, and from the comments that you guys have left and, and doing a little bit of research, um, I guess the best way to, to come in with the, the burner is at an angle like this. And so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use this piece of two inch pipe here and uh, two inch ID so that my burner will just fit in there. And I'm gonna kind of kick it off at an angle and then also angle it to the back a little bit so that as the flame comes in, the heat will kind of uh, go in a circular pattern, kind of spiral its way out. And then um, hopefully this will kind of be the exit. Um, Part of the reason for that was that I think it might be better to have the heat going out the back rather than in the front. Also, it's a slightly smaller hole too, so hopefully it'll kind of keep the heat in rather than just going out this big hole in the front. So I think the first thing I'll do is I'll mount this pipe. I'll kind of drill a hole here, get it situated roughly where I think it should be, and then um, I'll cut this down. I'll drill and tap some holes for the screws that will clamp the forge burner in place, and then uh, weld that up. And then I think the next order of business is I'm actually gonna cut the back end off of this. The reason for that is I just don't know how I'm going to get the K-wool put in here. I don't think I can neatly enough squeeze it in and put it all in here. I think I should just have enough room to apply the cement working through this little opening, even on this side here, like when I'm working on the cement that's against this face.
so we've got all the uh, wool put in there, welded back together, and I'm gonna start cementing the insides. Um, so I've got one brick on the bottom, that's it. My theory is that if I need another brick, or if I, I don't know if I'd want another brick, I'm probably just gonna leave it like this, but I wanted it kind of level, so it's all nice and level, all the way across. And then we'll just start smearing all the uh, cement in there, all up in here and all that, so. I'm pretty excited. It's coming close. Actually, not, not that close, because once that's done, then I'm gonna go ahead and weld my table onto here. I figure I wanna get all the, the cement in there first, and then I'll weld this up, and weld the little table in the back, and weld the legs on and stuff. Um, I don't know, I just thought, if I have a table on here, I'd like a table that's a decent size, like probably this wide. And I didn't know how it'd be getting in there with the cement. Actually, looking at it now, it's probably not a big deal, but when I was thinking about it before, I thought it might be too difficult to maneuver around in there if I had this table on here. I could, probably could have welded that on first, but oh well. Let's uh, see what the cement does. these things would be enough cement it's not so I'm gonna have to whip into town quick and grab at least one more of these all right so I went to town and they did have more of this stuff but this stuff's pre-mixed and um, it's gray but I think I'm gonna like this stuff better I bought everything they had so now I can finish this off Okie dokie. Um, so a lot of the cement that I bought, uh, this premix stuff, it was like all clumpy and it's kind of disappointing, but I think we've managed to get it okay for now. Uh, what I'm gonna do, this part turned out really nice. What I'm gonna do is let this cure, or not fully cure, but just let it harden up and then I'm gonna come probably tomorrow when I'll do one more coat over everything once it's all hardened up. And then when I do that, I'll go over it with a sponge and kind of get that nice glossy finish that we have on the other end. But I think I've pretty much got all the kale wool covered up and um, I made an absolute mess of the outside of this tank. Just a schmozzle, I'm gonna have to clean that up afterwards. But I'm gonna have to leave it there for tonight and let that cure. Also, happy Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. We've been smoking like, uh, we're just gonna have an incredible feast tonight and I'm so excited about it. I've been working here and like the, the wafting smoke from our smoker with this bee, oh. It's gonna be so good. Thanks for watching guys, cheers. <laughs>